sort of this eternal optimist and you know brought the sunshine wherever she went i just love that amy doesn't care if you like her and for that's so liberating for a, a female character to sort of walk around and say like i don't need you to smile at me like i'm just trying to get through the day and and she started in a place of really just trying to survive and 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 a certain um, cute little panda looking man came into her life. And, Why, is and Why is the little I didn't say your name. <laughs> You're assuming I was talking about you. You also did this to me. Oh my God. Um, and all of a sudden, like, ideas of, you know, wanting more from her life um, started to pop up. And, and we talked about, you know, how that would play in. And uh, it is Jonah who kind of. Uh, encourages her to, to start thinking about what else there would be. But of course, in Superstore fashion, for her to ask for that step up and power is going to come with all of the crazy challenges of, of, of having to um, manage people that she's had these long-time relationships with. It, it's a bumpy ride, but, but nonetheless, I mean, ultimately, she's a little more comp com competent than Glenn, I would say, right? <laughs> <laughs> 